Hi, this is Greg with another video support update. And this time we're going to be looking at Roxio Toast on the Apple computer. Um, if you ever need to create a DVD or CD of data, movies, music, that type of thing, uh, you might find that the Apple interface is a little bit cumbersome. Um, you can certainly make uh, data CDs pretty adequately, but anything beyond that is kind of challenging. Like, for example, let's say making copies of an existing uh, CD or DVD that you have. So I'm going to show you how to use Toast here really quick. And um, the first thing is finding the program. Um, you're going to want to go to the primary drive. In this case, it's just drive one and look in applications. Okay, And there's a long list of applications, alphabetical. You're going to find the um, Toast 10 Titanium here listed alphabetically at the bottom. There's a folder. And when you open that up, you'll see at the bottom here, Toast 10 Titanium. And I'm going to actually resize this window so you can kind of see this side by side. See how the flow is? So we're going from Drive 1 to Applications to Toast 10 Titanium, and then up here to Toast Titanium. I'm going to double click on that. Now, I'm logged in as my normal user account. This is the first time, uh, it's the first time I've tried running Toast, okay, under my user account. And I'm just a standard user on this machine. So um, it's going to create, just as it would with Microsoft Office type products, you know, it creates the very first time you run it, a kind of personalized configuration for you. Okay, so that's what's happening here. I'm going to walk you through these steps so you know what to do when this happens for you. Um, it says, thanks for purchasing the product, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And then it wants me to read this license and continue. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I agree. Um, please personalize, etc. I'll just kind of continue past this. And now it's asking, this is really an important part right now that you kind of pay attention to this. It's going to ask if you want to install some additional software. Well, you can't do that. I can't do that here under my normal user account. So when it asks, do you want to install Toast It and Mount It, you're going to say, uh, you're going to go ahead and remove that check mark. Because if you don't remove that check mark and you try to install an application, it's going to ask you for the uh, administrative username and password, etc. And uh, it's, this isn't necessary. So we're just going to remove the check mark and then click continue. And then here we do not want to enable TiVo transfers. There's no need for that. So we're just going to click continue. Um, it's asking if I want to, based on my you know first name and last name, it's asking if I want to register this. And I'm just going to go to skip. We can skip the registration here. Um, and that's basically it. And click finish. And now I'm ready to go ahead and start using the latest version um, of, of Toast here. It's version 10. And what will occasionally happen is maybe in a few weeks from now, there will be a new update to Toast 10. So it'll still be Toast 10, but there will be some sort of update. If you get a message on the screen indicating that there's a new version, you won't be able to install that. So just kind of skip that um, and get in touch with me or, or somebody who can install the administrative version uh, for you. Um, so here I'm going to just show you, for example, here we are, and if we go to help and um, you know, check for updates. This is where it would have come up and said there's a new update. Uh, but anyway, for now we are at, let me just go about, yeah, this is version here you can see, 10.0.2. Uh, so they're always improving it, and uh, probably there will be another update in a little while. But otherwise, that's basically how you get into Toast um, for purposes of, of doing a number of things. Actually, I'm just going to include in this video a brief intro to this. You'll see at the top there's an option here. It looks like two little disks together. This is quite frequently the most, you know, it's like the common uh, thing that people want to do is make copies of their existing disks. So this is what you do. You just click on Disk Copy, and uh, you put in your disk, and then you click the little red button, and you define, you know, how many copies you want. So um, that's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me uh, by email or phone or whatever works best for you. Take care.